Why is she staring at me like that? On the side of the table, we are going to be checking out the Jurassic World Super Colossal line with the all new Jurassic World Dominion Super Colossal Giganotosaurus. Look at the scale of this mighty new dinosaur from Dominion. Hey everyone, this is Dan. Thank you for watching Squirrel Stampede and today's review will be Super Colossal. Squirrel, Squirrel Stampede. Stampede. She's still staring at me, isn't she? So we've gone through the super colossal size a few times now, starting of course with the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and you can tell the scale is simply huge. To do a quick comparison, here is your average Tyrannosaurus Rex dinosaur. You can see the super colossal is what, two, three, maybe four times the size of this dinosaur. So absolutely huge. Maybe you should close your snout. Then a short time later, we checked on the Indominus Rex, I like to call her, the Indominus Rex Super Colossal. A little more detailed than the T-Rex was with all her spines and things sticking out and just scariness. Look at the size of this one. Just scary with this ghost white appearance. I skipped blue. I think blue was a Super Colossal too, but I didn't feel like she was in scale with this style of dinosaur. And then last summer we checked out Toro Super Colossal. Toro he or she, everyone is saying he because Toro bull, right? But I always thought all the dinosaurs in Jurassic World were female, so I'm still confused on that. But we checked out Toro last summer, one of my favorites too. I always love the Carnotaurosaurus. Carnotaurosaurus. Are you going to sell me a car, Carney? Okay, so, so now we've got the... Giganotosaurus from Dominion. Look at the scale of this dinosaur in the box. We'll have to place her together a little bit with, of course, gigantic bite and the ability to eat smaller dinosaurs. So let's open up and begin to build. It's pretty much self-destruction on the boxes. and a couple legs okay like before we have to construct our super colossal here's her main body head torso so so detailed and we will add on a tail and you'll want to line up her neural spine so that it is right down the line and it should give you this solid clicking sound once installed oh that always is so satisfying and you can already see the length of this brand new Super Colossal. Let's add on some legs, making sure we get right mixed up with left. This has got to be left. And this has got to be right. Wow, tight. Ah, there's a snap. That one last leg just did not want to snap in as satisfying as the others. But here is the all new Giganotosaurus, super colossal, absolutely enormous. Hard name to say, I keep wanting to call it Gigantosaurus, but it is Giganotosaurus. If I am saying that right, please help me out in the comments. We all know I am known for getting names a little bit off in pronunciation. As for articulation on the super colossals, usually we have a double jointed mouth with a lower jaw and an upper jaw. This way you have the ability to really chomp and swallow prey. And you can almost, oh. hang on there, hang on, oh. Don't stick your arm into your Giganotosaurus because it will probably try to eat you. So we've got pretty good articulation up there and we also have good neck rotation. Sometimes it gets a little sticky, especially over on Rex there. So neck rotation. Over to the arms, we've got arms that rotate around and even some wrists that rotate. So some pretty good articulation there with pretty good movement. Much better than the Carnotaurus with its flappy little arms. Uh, legs are on hips and they are going to rotate like so and in and out just slightly. So just enough there to give it some good positioning. Most of the time these Super Colossals are pretty good at standing. For their size, that's pretty impressive. They usually have a little bit of uh, 
what would you call this? Not wrist, but ankle. Ankle rotation that also helps stabilize the dinosaur. And back to the tail here. Look at that. We've got articulated shaky tail back here and another point back here for rotation. So plenty of spots. Considering the scale, that's pretty well done. So I don't know too much about the Giganotosaurus. I had to do a little bit of research this week. Some fun facts or some fun guesstimates, I guess. As we don't know too much about this giant theropod, uh, some say probably a little bit larger than the Tyrannosaurus rex, but others say about the same scale. It's just hard to tell as they've only found a few skeletons of this mighty dinosaur found in 1993 and if I remember right I think when Jurassic Park the first movie came out around that time uh, in the newspapers after you know the Tyrannosaurus Rex made such an entrance in the movie the newspapers had to you know wah wah and go there's actually a bigger theropod than the T-Rex they just found it it's the Giganonotosaurus I think I recall reading that article back when they used to send paper and print and these weird things to your doorstep every day and you get paper cuts so that's what a newspaper was all about but the Giganotosaurus pretty well new in the dinosaur realm compared to the T-Rex some other fun facts she's got this really great cool dorsal uh, spine thing going on all these spikes down her back it's going to be interesting how that's going to be shown in Dominion. It looks pretty interesting in the preview trailers. And good paintwork with her. She's a nice deep green and a little bit of a charcoaly gray going down the back on her. I wish they had continued the gray going down the back end of her tail. It kind of abruptly stops around her hip zone. And then this area is unpainted, which is kind of odd and pale. And then her toes are also unpainted, which is unfortunate as the T-Rex had painted toes and so did the Indominus Rex and even the Carnotaurus had that too. So these toes are very plain, so it's kind of unfortunate there, but for the most part looking pretty well good up at the upper side of the top. She also has these very interesting teeth. Uh, the T-Rex has teeth that are kind of going up and down vertically and the Giganotosaurus has teeth that seem to be a little more rounded and then especially on her lower jaw they're kind of going outwards instead of up. You can kind of see how they're they're branching out so that must make a really interesting kill. She's got a much wider mouth. This lower jaw is so wide and very interesting on how many dinosaurs will fit in that mouth. Also some really cool ridges around her eyes are very interesting. So she's a spectacular dinosaur to learn about. Uh, the forearms are much larger than a T-Rex's according to this toy and maybe what they've found. Again, some of this is speculative as they kind of piece together in a really odd way when they find dinosaur stuff. Although I think they found at least 70 to 80 percent of uh, one of these. So they've got quite a bit on record to study with. Some other facts I dug up, she's from the same family as the Carcharodontosaurus. The Carchar, remember the Carchar that I had an enormous tough time saying. And uh, it lived in the late Cretaceous period about 97 million years ago. So what an interesting find this super colossal is. So when you get a super colossal, you have to feed them because they are so super colossal. So what do we feed super colossal dinosaurs? Luckily, we have these chaotic cargo snack packs for your super colossals. We've got the Allosaurus snack pack and we have the, oh, it's my favorite, Carnotaurus snack pack. Really delicious stuff. Inside these packs, we should have four minis and a special human surprise. Hmm. So retrieving the Carnotaurus mini pack there, some miniatures are mini Carnotaurus snack. Oh, they're a little bit softer this time around. Interesting. In the past, they've been a very rigid plastic, and now we've got a much softer scale and opening and closing jaw. So this one, the Carnotaurus snack pack. This one looks like a Baryonyx. This one, a Triceratops. And a baby. Oh, this one's a tough one. I can never remember this one. A Protoceratops, maybe. Sometimes, if you're real gentle, these dinosaurs will purr like a kitten.
and a tiny Claire minifigure. Oh, how funny. It's Claire in minifigure form. And inside the Allosaurus mini snack pack. Oh, I see. If you open it correctly, cut the tape all along the sides. I did not do that. You can open up this window and see the same, wait, the same thing that the outer box has. Oh, no, wait, there's a little punch out. So you can punch out each window and discover each dinosaur. So I went a little bit crazy with the first one. So this one, we punch out the windows and I can see blue and some sort of Dimitridon maybe and a Stegosaurus in there. So that's kind of a fun little thing. They're so tiny and squishy. I like the squishy feel of these. This is different. Much easier to digest for sure. There's a little miniature blue looking good and a miniature Stegosaurus which would be the worst thing to eat full of the Super Colossal. That would just destroy your neck and try to get this guy out. There's our Allosaurus, who is also one of my favorites because years when I was a kid, I did a Allosaurus report and I always liked this one because of that, but you don't see the Allosaurus as much. There should be another human here, oh, the window, and of course it's Owen, a small Owen minifigure. It's always Claire and Owen. Oh, Owen, I'm so scared, there's dinosaurs everywhere. Don't worry, Claire, I'll protect you. Oh, good. I feel so much safer now. Owen, Owen, what's that noise? It's nothing, Claire. <coughs> so when it's time to feed your Giganotosaurus, open up its mighty jaws of Super Colossal, and we'll pick a dinosaur here. Here's a Carnotaurus, and go down the Mighty Beast's gullet. Let's try the Allosaurus now. I don't think in real life it would be that easy, except for maybe the Stegosaurus. That would be the most difficult. Oh, the leg finally fell off. I knew that didn't click in. I don't think this leg's gonna click in. That's funny, I've never had a Super Colossal with a leg issue. I gave it a real good solid squeeze, but now we can continue to eat. That is so odd. Okay, so let's try a Triceratops. And let's try poor Raptor Blue. And of course, Owen would then follow. No, Blue, come back. And then Claire, Owen! And then of course this Dimitridon, which I think would be pretty good. I think a, a pile of Dimitridons dried out, kind of like chips would taste really good. And then the Baryonyx. Down it goes. And finally, I think that's the Protoceratops. Down it goes and close. So our Giganonotosaurus is now full and very happy. It feels like you could fit about 50 more of those minis in there. I remember cramming a whole bunch into the T-Rex there, so they fit a ton of minis. And so when you're done and ready to retrieve your minis, there's two ways. Obviously, you can open back the mouth and shake them out, or we have an emergency hatch on their belly that you can reach and pop open. I do say be a little careful with these emergency hatches. This one feels a little stronger than the T-Rex. I always worry about these hatches breaking. So be a little careful with them, but that's another way you can retrieve all your minis. Hopefully we can find them all. Digested together, spiked everything. Where'd the humans go? Oh, there's Owen and there's Claire. We've digested Claire. I think that's everybody. Yeah, I don't hear any anything inside. So there's plenty of, to eat with the Super Colossal line. So absolutely incredible with the Giganonotosaurus going to be the star of Jurassic World Dominion, I am sure. I like this style of dinosaur to pick up for the Super Colossals because it is just so mammoth. If you pick up all the other regular scale dinosaurs from the Jurassic World line, it's okay that this one is just so much bigger. Uh, what did Dr. Grant or Malcolm say in the uh, trailer? They always go bigger. Why? 
why do they always go bigger something like that so yeah it's it's an impressive looking dinosaur they've done such a great job on this headpiece it is spectacular looking so it is a it is a fun find and a fun uh, dinosaur to add if you are a big time collector of all the obscure dinosaurs instead of the t-rexes and the stegosauruses all those common dinosaurs this one is the style of something a little bit different to learn about and it is always quite enjoyable to learn about a new dinosaur so that's the Gigantonotosaurus. What a find, what a fun, super colossal, now available this spring 2022, just in time for Jurassic World Dominion. I found this one over at Target and it was worth the find. It has been a lot of fun. The hard part now is where am I going to put all of these super colossals? They, they take up so much space. Oh!